So in our skin care center, we're using CO2 resurfacing technology. I've been using the CO2 laser since the early 80s. We started off with one laser with one spot and an on and off switch. With the advent of computerized delivery devices, we're able to precisely deliver an energy to the skin that creates an ablation of that skin, of that wrinkle, uh, that discoloration, or that growth with precise measurement. So what I'd like to do is discuss the recovery of these types of procedures because what we're doing is delivering an energy which vaporizes the water within the outer layer of skin creating a burning of the skin. So if we look at this per case of melasma, she's had previous attempts at treatments elsewhere with different lasers that leave these little white spots. This shows you four days after treatment with the CO2 laser. The CO2 that I prefer to use is a core laser, and I use the core laser because of the, radio, the uh, computer technology within the delivery system. You see her at four days, and then you see six weeks after treatment. We then look at her one year follow-up. You see the improvement in the color of the skin before with the melasma, afterwards, four days later, one year later with maintenance of that result. When we start looking at wrinkles, so we've talked about treating brown spots, now we're going to talk about treating irregularities and wrinkling. This gentleman is 18 years of age, here he is at 56 years of age, he has deep wrinkles, he has fine wrinkles, he has acne scars, so, and he also has rhinophyma, which is a rosacea of the nose, very common in people of Northern European heritage. So when we design this treatment, we're going to be treating this face with one, two, three, four different settings on the laser, taking attention, paying attention to the depth of the skin and what we're trying to achieve. And these are all the different settings that we pre determine pre-treatment. You then look at the recovery. This is 72 hours. You see the nose has been treated a little deeper because the rosacea affects the skin, makes it very th thick and red. You can see we've treated the deeper wrinkles around his eyes. We've treated the acne scars a little deeper and areas that are more superficial. Th what you're seeing is white is aquaphor. So the treatment is going to be cleanses with a gentle cleanser and the application of aquaphor. By day six, you can see the beard is starting to grow. The skin has now grown back, so we have new epithelium. You're seeing a nice, shiny appearance to the skin. Uh, you can then see improvement in the at nine days, at 10 days, where things have completely re-epithelialized. He also had a concomitant facelift for his contour and fat injection, but the surface has been improved with the CO2 laser. You see at three weeks, the beard has been shaven. You see the improvement in the skin texture, the skin color, the nose is thinned out, the lines on the forehead are less noticeable. You now see three weeks on the frontal view. There he is at one year with complete stabilization of the result and the aging process has, re has been resumed and you see marked improvement in his overall appearance. There he is at 18 years of age, 57 years of age, and you can appreciate that he doesn't look 18, but he has a very similar appearance that he did at 18 years of age. Now, we start looking at these much heavier lines. This person's from Hawaii, and you can see the impact of these deep lines and the impact of sun over a long period of time. This means these deep lines need a deeper laser. And you can see at 48 hours, it looks like a very raw appearance because of the depth that the laser had to go because those wrinkles are so deep. At six days, you see the recovery process is still ongoing. At 10 days, it's still healing. You can see by two weeks, we have complete regrowth of the skin. She's still not ready for prime time, but at this point, she knows she's going to heal and things are going to be very nice. At three weeks, with a bit of makeup, she now is ready for prime time. And when you look at her at two and a half years after surgery, you can appreciate the skin is markedly improved.